What is up, everyone? It's me again with the return of my first shot with March of the Living. Cheers, everyone. Ugh, Lush, what the hell is this? Think of uh, FTL, Faster Than Light, mixed with The Walking Dead. Now, you're probably thinking, oh my god, this is a matchmaking hey, ma made in heaven. But with shitty 8-bit graphic styling. I'm trying to get tired of these games, but if the game is really good, I can look over it. And I have to say, it gets some getting used to. I have been playing a bit of it to get used to it. Um, let's go ahead and start this now. You're uh, going to, when you start off a new... Let's see cancel because I'm actually pretty, this is actually probably my best game that I've played. Uh, you're going to play, pick a new game. It's going to have you pick a, a, a cast of four p characters, each having their own goal in this little adventure trek through the uh, uh, post-apocalyptic world of the living dead. Um, but you only have the access to the first one. The fir uh, once you complete the first one story mission, you'll start unlocking the uh, next person, and then the next person, and then the next person. Um, difficulty can spike depending on if you know what the hell you're doing in this game, which at first I did not, so I did not last long very well. Um, so I actually started to learn from experience. Let's go ahead and log in. Not too much to look at here. Uh, standing wise, it will fit with a store, uh, fit to your screen. And you're probably saying, okay, what the hell am I looking at? Okay, so you'll have up, you can have up to six members in your party per se, because this is kind of this is a RPG. So uh, we can reposition them. You'll see that, you know, you can not the best looking of games, but you know, um, we're standing still right now. No actions are being taken. We are sitting inside a city, which these can be scavenged for items and goods, weapons. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't played so enough so far, guys. Like I said, this is first impressions, my first shots with. I'm not sure if you can find party members, but um, I found party members more on the road, and I've not yet found any within the streets. So I think this is the in the cities. Um, you can look at this map and say, "Wow, this is very overwhelming." Yeah, not not the most aesthetically pleasing map, but. Um, it pretty much gets the job done, letting you know wh um, where you're heading to, where from that spot you can head to next, having to make sure you pay attention to that, where key points are, um, where how to get to the next section, uh, you see danger, next sector, places I've been. That's your main routes of travel. We'll be actually heading back to this later. Um, well, I'm in a city now. This is a place where I can get this option where it says scavenge. You always have map, eat, and rest. These are always available to you at the time. Uh, how many days I've been? I'm playing this for 14 days. How much time has tra traveled by? Um, this will not go unless I am traveling or doing an action. So uh, it is turn-based, kind of, because you can always pause it like this. So making sure that you, you pause the game and make sure that you always have an awareness of the situation, where to position your guys, which zombies to shoot, and etc., etc. Um, so we have the Greg here. So we have health, uh, health, fatigue, and hunger. This fatigue is controlled by sleep. These guys do need to sleep. That's why they have rest. Hunger, you and uh, they do need to eat. That's why you have to eat here. Um, determining how you have food rations here at 29. Reload. This is for characters who are actually have carrying firearms. And then you have a uh, your bullets. I have 27 pistols, shotgun, and then rifle. Then I always have my food. And I can go to group manage, and this is their inventory. And this is the area where I drop inventory for other people to pick up. So if I wanted to, say, uh, give the frying pan to Stein here. So I would put it up here, and then pick it up, and he would have it. I would have to equip it. Uh, these are the equips and unequipped uh, options here. You always carry, like, junk to sell to vendors. Uh, antibiotics for healing. Healing kits, you know, you can have... Uh, melee weapons, machete. And then you can click on these people and you can see their traits. So everyone's going to have a trait of each weapon varieties in the game, which is pistol, shotgun, and rifle. He's an expert at the pistol, intermediate shotgun, and intermediate at rifles. And other people are going to also have other perks. Uh, hunting skills are very valuable these days. See, that's not very. Uh, like, what does that mean? Like, that's not very explain. Uh, it doesn't explain their traits very well. That's one of the qu uh, quirks I have with this. It's like not very good on explaining like certain uh, character traits or what have you. Like so soothing personality. Okay, what the hell does that mean? Like stat wise, this is an RPG. You kind of have to tell me what these mean. 
Uh, same with resilient. Okay, see, at least this one says it. Plus negative one damage received from melee attack. So that means he's a good melee because he can go in and start meleeing and can resist more. So I have him kind of um, my melee tank kind of character. So that's, it's kind of like a little small in gist of where like stats are wise. A little bit not so not in depth that I would like it to be, but good enough for like a, kind of how this game was. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play. We're gonna go ahead and scavenge. Oh wait, I already scavenged this whole city. Pff, this is probably a bad start. So you have a chance to actually look at these places, and you have a percentage of actually being attacked by zombies. Since I scavenged everything, let's get the hell out of here. So we'll try to make it to this city. I can show you guys the uh, scavenging mechanic. So we're gonna go here. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, so I'm positive. So they're gonna basically automatically walk, kind of like an FTL, where your spaceship was kind of floating by itself, not being controlled. And when you hit your destination, a, a mad random event will come up. Why, hello there. You're stopped on the road by a daintily well-dressed man carrying an old-fashioned double-barreled hunting shotgun, practically screaming classy with his appearance. Trailing behind him is what you can only describe as a team of pistol-wielding butlers. Uh, they all look as if they're, they mean serious business when it comes to serving their master. I have something I want to ask you. Would you care to spare a moment of your time? Okay. Ask what he wants to know. What? Okay. The man smiles. I am somewhat of an avid collector of baseball memorabilia. memorabilia. My pride and joy are large sets of bobbleheads across the 60s and 70s. Though I will admit, uh, I'm missing some pieces, which is where you come in. His eyes look you up. I don't suppose you would happen to have any bobbleheads, would you? Um, I do not have bobbleheads, so this is some random thing that I would need. Um, so I can't pick that thing. So I tell him I don't have any. Oh, that is a shame, he musters. Uh, not to worry, I suppose. Well, we have to keep going. L keep looking. Good day to you. Now, uh, skipping a beat, the practically Im impeccably dressed gentlemen head off their way. Okay, so nothing happened there. Now, if I had a bobblehead in my inventory, uh, I don't know, the guy probably could have gave me something good or something like that. Or, or uh... I could have chose, like, yeah, fuck off, this is my bobblehead, and they would have fought me or something. I don't know, but, yeah, that's 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 as random as it pretty much gets. Okay, we're going to have you get closer. You, oh, goodness, sorry, guys. Because you can't be amb ambushed from both sides, so you kind of want to keep your party members in a, kind of, like, towards the middle. I have these two back because they're more my shooters, and you're most likely, when you're traveling, are going to be attacked in the front. So, we're going to hit the map again. We reached our destination, which is where we met the gentleman, and now we're going to go here. A walk, and now you'll see this growl meter, and well, as soon as I mention it, once it hits the top, you'll be attacked by zombies. Good time for me to show you uh, combat. So I have up to six zombies attacking, and they're all rotters. These are your most basic type of zombies, pretty much. Not too much of a threat now that I have a group of four guys. If I still... Because you only start with one person in this. Alright, so we're, we're Greg. Greg, this is Greg's story. So I have him equipped with a hunting knife. So I can melee attack, push back, or just wait. So I'm gonna wait for a minute. Uh, you can actually just move him. Just kind of just unpause this. Okay, there is some people behind here. So I'm gonna have actually Greg. Let's see if I can actually have him go back here. Oh wow, I'm surrounded. Okay, so we're gonna have Tara move up. As long as, long as okay, so Sarah. Okay, so I can check to see how much ammo she has in the rifle. She has four rounds now, so there's no really for me to need to waste time to reload. Um, Tara actually should probably. Okay, so now she has since she has a rifle, she has different um, actions to pick from. So I can aim for the body, which gives me a more a better chance to hit the zombie. I can do a head cut shot, which is charge time, instant kill the target, and. If you look on the very, very bottom of the screen, you'll see a percentage. You'll see percentages in little chunks and sections. Those are the chances to hit the actual zombie. So for the rifle, you'll see that the farther they are, they actually have a better chance of hitting, which makes sense because a rifle is a long-range weapon. But as soon as they get closer to that person, the rifle is going to be kind of null and void, so you maybe want to switch to a shotgun, per se. So... Um, so let's see here. I'm going to do a aim at headshot two, um, which increases my chance. So we'll go for this one. 
And then I'm gonna click on Sarah and have her do the same thing. And have the, hopefully we can instant kill shot these guys. Uh, so we can actually move the party back and start assaulting these guys. And then I'm gonna have Stein go ahead and attack this guy with melee. So we can clear out that. So you'll see the blue bars here. I'm kind of waving my mouse here. Uh, that's how long it's going to actually take them to cast the spell. If you were to think of this as a fantasy RPG, but it's more like, yeah. But you, you guys get the gist, so. Alright, awesome. So we got two pop shots, got them. So now we want to pause immediately, because these guys are getting close. We want to get the Sarah the hell out of there. We want to get Terra the hell out of there. Okay, so Greg is kind of just standing there, so he needs to attack. He took care of him. We're going to have him come back over here this way. All right, got him. Now we can kind of just have the girls hang back and uh, wait for the gentleman to. I know that sounds, that sounds sexist. <laughs> now you girls just hang back. Let us, let us strong, manly men take care of. Them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, all right. So we're gonna have them because melee. Of course, melee weapons don't waste uh, ammo, so we don't want them wasting because ammo is kind of hard to come by in this game. Um, once you get the ball rolling, you can get a good amount of it. But still, even then, like, there's more enemies, like, there's, uh, grabbers and screamers and, I don't know, there could be a tank-type monster that I haven't, I haven't met yet. So, I, of course, I would want to keep all those bullets, uh, saved up for those type. I only, um, so, of course, I'm going to let the girls thin the, the herd out and let the melee guys go in and, you know, help them save bullets. So, now, okay, cool, I got four pistol bullets out of that, sweet. Okay, that's good for Greg since uh, I have him with the pistol because he's the best at he has the better skill at pistoling. So you know there is a there is a source of strategy in the game. So of course let's get everybody back into position. Let's Stein head up the front. He's more he's more my tanky type type of guy since he has the resilient uh, melee skill. All right, so we're gonna have them uh, stay in that formation. Uh, okay, actually let's go ahead and move up just a tad bit. All right, so we're gonna keep on traveling since we got stopped mid travel. You notice a few of the trees have been knocked down around here. You decide to investigate. Here's a helicopter crash here, probably around the start of the outbreak. It's a military helicopter. There could be some useful items inside. Okay, so now I can keep moving and avoid it altogether. And because if I search the helicopter, it could be a point to where oh my god, a swarm of zombies! You got attacked. You lost health. Uh, one of your pet party members got killed. Or there could be something good, like, oh man, you found a sh total shit tash stash of guns and ammo in there. Totally go for it. It's always random what happens with this. Even if you seem to have the same uh, what is this, uh, event happen, it will happen differently every time. Because uh, there was one time where I saw a car crash and there was a person inside and it was surrounded by zombies. And I said, do you want to investigate the car? I'm like, sure. It's like, oh, there's a woman inside. Help her. And I helped her out and she joined my party. And then I died and started to get another game again, and I saw the same event. But this time, the, wo the woman inside the car was already a zombie, and I was going to be attacked, so I had to get the hell out of there. So it's always different. It's not the same or anything. All right, so who will search the helicopter? All right, so Stein, let's see here. Stein pries open the door and finds the pilot dead, as expected. Further inside, he finds the man some weapons. All right, only one of them is in working order. Ah. An old revolver. Well, that's kind of useless. All right. Well, we can only be, we can only sell it for credit, so it was worth it. No one got hurt. Okay. So map. All right. So now we can make it to the city. So I can just show you uh, scavenging. But before we do that, um, you'll see the fatigue and hunger are starting to set in. So we're going to rest. Now, it's risky to rest in this zone, so let who remain away to protect the group. Um, they all are kind of tired, so I'm going to risk it. Confirm. Now, there is a point where I can be attacked, so let's see here. Uh, please don't get up all the way. And come on, don't. Come on. Don't. Oh, God. That's, that's too. Come on, wake up, guys. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay. Now they're all hungry, so we're gonna go eat. Now I can deselect who can actually eat and who doesn't want to, but they're all pretty hungry, so they're all gonna eat. Now you can see that it's gonna eat away. Each person takes one food ration every time they eat, so confirm. And that's a thing that you have to balance out. You'll start with that one person, but as you start to meet more people, you might not have enough food rations for them to stay around. So you can actually click on them like food manager and just tell them to fucking, I think there's a, 
I forgot where the option was. There's an option for them, like, hey, get the hell out of here. We can't, we can't sustain you anymore. All right, so with that said, okay, we'll get them back into position. All right, cool. All right, so that's a, that's pretty much the maintenance. Their health can be healed by like health kits and stuff. Let's see here. You're down by two. You're down by one. They're fine. Their health is fine. They're at ten. They usually get only hit by what one time. All right, so we're gonna go to the city. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love. <laughs> so uh, it's it's pretty simplistic as RPG wise, but I I find it very um very addicting actually. Uh, it took me a minute to get, actually because the first time around I was like, oh, this is really that great. But then I gave it another try and actually was doing well and actually learned from my past mistakes what I should do. Because if you know, one time I kept I was like I kept running the people. I'm like, cool, more people means more helping to kill zombies but i was running out of food so fast so the next run i was like you know what i should just start collecting up on food a lot keep collecting and when the time comes then i can start collecting uh, then i can start having people come into the party stuff like that all right so i find that it um finding certain items do correspond with the area that you do have so a police station might have weapons hospital would have healing items grocery would have food would have food Drugstore has a mixture of food and drugs. Apartment actually kind of has a mixture of all of them, and sometimes you can find some bullets and weapons and stuff like that. Um, so I usually try to assess which situation I'm in right now. I'm running a little low on food. I'm okay on bullets, so we're going to go hit the grocery store. So that's how long you'll search for the grocery store. The more time you spend searching, the more things you might find. So, of course, the longer I want to search. But I have a 67% chance to actually run into zombies. I'm willing to do this because I feel confident in my gang. Let me see here. And I think we can do it. So let's go ahead and do that. Time will pass. Of course, there's zombies. Pause this. We made too much noise or scavenge. Okay, wow. We got a shit ton of zombies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna. The girls are gonna go after the grabbers. These actually. Um, you can actually look at their stats. Obviously, you can see that they have more HP. Um, they attack. They attack a little faster. Then they have a way better chance of grappling. Um, the thing is, the mechanics. Of, we'll go ahead and have her attack him. Uh, headshot him. Okay, so Stein is actually going to take off his melee weapon. He's going to put on the shotgun. Put that. Okay, now let's see. the affordable. So the shotgun can actually do AOE damage. Of course, it's a shotgun. Duh. All right, so penalty darkness, unfortunately. Okay, so he doesn't have a flashlight, so he has a penalty darkness. So he's fighting in the dark without a flashlight is pretty much debuffing yourself, which kind of sucks. But all right, so he's gonna do it up. He's gonna get up here and do a spread attack, and then Greg he's gonna help thin the group out with the semi-auto. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, the semi-auto. Okay, um, quick. And we're gonna do that. So we're gonna start thinning out the herd here. See? Oh, there we go. Oh, nice, beautiful. All right, Greg can keep shooting. All right, so I say, see how I pause immediately there because I want to now stop them. Because if I let them go, they're just gonna keep doing what they're doing until like they're past, and that that means they're just gonna keep on wasting bullets. I actually want Greg to shoot another volley of shotgun rounds. I think they are. Tara, you guys stop. Pistol rounds are like really valuable. So you see the the shotgun shell actually stop those guys in its tracks. Okay, so imagine. Okay, so we'll keep the machete. Okay, so Greg will Stein will now actually start meleeing Greg. Uh, manage group. Um, this is kind of clunky, I think, having to go click, 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 click. It is kind of clunky. I wish there was like a way for them to kind of short how many times you click the freaking inventory in this game, but I uh, I know it is kind of a budgeted game. I'm not really sure how much it costs on Steam right now. Okay, so these guys are pretty much got the line. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, Ray, go ahead and attack him. Stein, go ahead and attack him. 
All right, and we did it. All right, not bad. So cool, we got five food rations, a pack of cigarettes, and some glasses. All right, so food rations go. It doesn't take up inventory space, but these do. Um, I found that pack of cigarettes are very valuable when trading them, and actually kind of triggers a uh, a uh, quest event um, too. Um, but that could pop up random over and over again. But I still have to manage, and that's another good thing about having multiple people in your party. You have more inventory space, which you do have to manage. Glasses, I could, uh, why not? I have the inventory space. I can always switch it out later. There's no reason for me not to pick them up. Okay, so, all right, so these guys seem, okay, get back into place. All right, now we get the scavenge. So I got the food, oh, so I got 30. Um... F it, let's get some more bullets. Let's try the police station. 54% chance? I like those odds. Let's do it. Okay, successfully complete. Scavenging without getting noticed. Sweet. All right. Hell yeah. So we got 11 rifle bullets and we got 8 pistol bullets. Nice. Okay, so I can take this time to actually... Okay, so equip the semi. Okay, you equip the shotgun. And I want everyone to reload. All right. You see a small. I'm not sure if you guys see it, but there's a small blue bar telling them how long it's going to take. Okay, so we're going to keep those on because I like usually like to initiate the battle with thinning out the herd uh, before they get to me. Then I like to switch the melee weapons. So these guys are getting pretty tired. So we're going to find a place to rest. Searching for a safe place to rest. Hopefully we can find one without getting attacked. Of course, we. Wow, we and we got another horde. Now I. Don't think this is worth it, so we need to flee. We can flee. Let's get the hell out of here. So they're kind of scramble off the... Now, there's a chance of you losing items, too, when you flee. I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, you, you were out of danger, but Stein is nowhere to... Really? So I lost my... One of my teammates, and he had all that shit on him. That sucks. I did not know you can actually lose a party member, but that's another thing that could happen. And that's how this game could dick you over like that. That's kind of like how these rogue, like, space, uh, not space, uh, these rogue type games can be. So that fucking sucks. I had a good, uh, group mechanic there, man. That was, oh, I can't believe it. So, um, it would probably would have been better for me to stay. Damn, that sucks. That really legit me pisses me off. Guys, cheers. That sucks. All right, confirm. Damn, that sucks. He did the shotgun too. Ugh. All right, so running, running can be very detrimental to the group. But if uh, we could have, I could have took that part. I could have took that group of zombies because it was basically the same amount of people. I had plenty of bullets. Um, that was just me being cowardly. Well. I guess for the matter of time, but I just know this for now. I'm constantly learning about the game as I'm going, and you know what? I I should keep want to want to keep playing this game, and like even though that did piss me off, I I I've been hooked. Um, granted, I kind of like these games because I've been used to playing these types of games. Like I play FTL, I play a lot of rogue likes. Guys, you know I play Dark Souls. It's like the game like is made to fucking kick your ass. All right, let's go ahead and get to the hospital then. Do 40% chance, because we still have some first aid kits and stuff. I'm just glad I didn't... Oh, shit. All right, stop. Okay, so... Wow, we got a lot of grabbers. Okay, so I'm going to have... Get out these grabbers first. And then I'm going to have Greg... Shoot these guys behind us. Please. Cool, nice shot, Greg. Greg, shoot this guy behind us. Oh, weapon. Some, sometimes a weapon can jam. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and shoot. I should have told. See, I, I I made them stand still because I was not. I was too worried about concentrating on Greg to see if he just got the shot off. Alright, cool. And we got first aid, first aid kit out of it. I'm gonna give that to Greg. I'm old Greg! I'm Drake Bailey's! <laughs> that was an obscure reference. Anyway, um... 
We're gonna give the cigarettes to Terra. Okay, everyone's good. Hey, they're fine. They don't really need healing. All right, I can scavenge some more. I just like to pick the cities clean. I'm just gonna keep on going. We're gonna head and get the hit the drugstore. Cool. Three food rations. I'll take them. And now we'll hit the apartments last. It's usually a gambit to see what is what's inside the apartments. All right, let's go ahead and f it. We'll go into another fight. Man, I wonder if I can find him again in another event. Okay, cool. All right, we got Lee lucked out. We got a blanket. This brand new, set for the big spot of blood on one side, and another and a revolver. We're gonna go ahead and switch out the old revolver for this revolver. Um, zero percent chance of jamming. Does have more damage. All right, so okay, so we scavenged the whole city and we're out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Damn, I can't. We lost. We lost uh, freaking Stein. Okay, so you're probably saying, okay, so Lush, what the hell's the point? Okay, so at first I was, I, you can see my blue path where I fell out here. And actually, you'll see this, this purple thing, and that's your quest. You actually want to make your way to that quest spot, and it'll advance the storyline, and then it'll actually set down another quest line. So you'll see here, okay, so this is the first chunk of, of it. These maps are really huge, so if I were to, like... You could technically explore every single part of this level because you don't really level up in this game. You're just basically getting um, food and you're constantly like maybe getting rations and bullets and stuff. But there's a chance where you can be killed instantly or a chance to where like you can lose all your party members or just lost that guy right there and just in actions. So it's up to you how you want to play it. Do you want to be that guy who just make sure you scavenge through everything before you hit all the quests. Do you want to be the guy who's like, nope, let's go straight to it. Um, if you go kind of, if, if you go straight to it, I think you're kind of screwing yourself over because you're not collecting enough. You don't have that chance to collect enough gear to make you get ready for the, I don't know, maybe uh, more monsters or things that you might encounter. Now, of course, these are first impressions. I haven't beat the gamers at all, but I have noticed the farther you go, the zombies, uh, I've never met, like, in the sex first section, I barely met grabbers, and when I got to this, um, when I got to this next section, I met screamers, and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, it's, it seems to get stronger. So there are different zombie variety types. I don't know how many differences there are. Let's go ahead and hit the map. Um, let's 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 hit this city. Let's, uh, I'll do a couple more events, and then I'll call it a dent. Um, if you guys want me, I'll probably do a small mini series, like a fresh run for you guys for my let's play, along with my Dark Souls, because I really actually like this game a lot. It's really fun. Um, I don't think it's really expensive. I think it's only eight, ten bucks now, right now, because it's like, sadly, it, it's kind of, it's like one of those small under the radar kind of games. I feel <clears throat> you realize there's a sizable number of affected that begin to follow you. You could easily outrun them, except for one thing: the path ahead is blocked by a recent traffic hit, which clearly resulted in a large fire. The dead are now pouring towards you in all directions. You. You can cut. You can uh, have cut you off. You have a choice between fight or flight. Okay, so I can fight the infected. Now there could be a shit ton of him because it says a whore or brave the flames, and they could be hurt. Let's brave the flames. See what negative effect it does. You rapidly weave your way through the flame wreckage, covering yourself as best you can, hopping, hoping for the best. Your reckless action pay off. You make it through unscathed. All right, we did it. Okay. Um, now, okay, sweet. There's some good, some good fortune there. Let's go ahead and reload. <coughs> Gang's getting hungry. All right, so hit the map again. Now I could probably go ahead and do some more searching, which I probably would do. Let's do a couple more events, and I'm gonna call it here, guys. <coughs> okay, so who's this for? Do you like roguelikes? Do you like RPGs? Um, strategy, I, I would call it a, a simplistic, minimalist RPG. Because as you can see, I'm stopping my guys, planning what I'm doing, moving around the map, taking my shots, planning on where I should do. It's very minimalistic, but I feel that it does the job for what, for how much they're charging and what, like, the premise of it. Of course I would like a more in-depth fighting mechanic instead, like, kind of like on the age of Dragon Age or Origins. Man, they made like a Dragon Age Origins version of like Walking Dead. How fucking amazing would that be? That'd be fucking awesome. I know guys are gonna burn down on that, but I would totally buy that. I'd probably eat that game up. Let's see here, Stan. 
you know, and you, you, granted, you don't need spells to do that. You can, like, have, like, oh, you do shotgun spray or sniper shot and stuff like that. You can, there's always things you can do. <clears throat> Standing a little bit back from the road, you spot some kind of building between the trees. It appears to have some old wooden schoolhouse. Hmm. Let's go up the perimeter. Looking around the outside, it's clear that someone or something was here recently. Uh, through a window, you can see several infected inside. Try to lure the infected out and deal with them one by one. Open the door and confront all the infected at once. It's too risky. Let's do this one by one. Tapping on the wall by the door, you manage to attract one of the lurking infected, execute it, and stumbles outside. Uh, others immediately notice and attack your group. Alright. Cool, so that probably lowered the fact that there's going to be three instead of one. Alright, so there's only, they're only rotters, so... Sarah, take one of them out. And then Tara will... Let's see here. Put the crowbar on. Greg. Greg, put the hunter's knife on and just melee them. <coughs> Alright, cool. So... Tara, head down here. Just in case... Did I not... Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't have a... A melee weapon for you, that's right. Terror, go ahead and take him down. Oh, wow, he's... Whoa, bug. Okay, so I got grappled now. So, once I'm grappled, that's when the infected will actually start attacking me. So, with that, I go ahead and I'm going to push him back now. Push him back, right? Alright. Alright, grapple's broken. The last infected falls. He breathes a sigh of relief. However, you're not sure it was worth it uh, for just a safe place to spend the night. I think it was. So, we're gonna rest here. Safe zone. Confirm. Well, we didn't get any gear, but that's okay. But, guys, that's pretty much my first impressions. Um, getting it. Roguelike RPG uh, with a zombie aesthetic. I know there's a lot of them. I know there's a lot of zombie games out there, but it's just pretty much another genre for, like, I don't know, fantasy, sci-fi to me at this point now. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, management. Uh, min minimalistic management. Not too in-depth. Not too crazy. Um, the game can be frustrating at first, but once you get the, the flow of the game and, you know, you know, j and just start to learn the mechanics, because the, this game kind of has a terrible uh, tutorial to it. Um, so you kind of have to learn this shit all out by yourself. But once you do, the game is kind of very satisfying once you get your role going. Because I feel very great about my party right now. If I hadn't lost Stein, I'd feel, like, unstoppable at this point. Because I, pl I have plenty of ammo. I got plenty of food. These guys are, are healthy. Their fatigue is alright. Group management is okay. I got decent weapons. Um, these The two girls can one-shot any zombie that come within. They're freaking snipers. And you can dedicate, like, little jobs to them. So the girls are snipers. My dudes are tanks and mid-range fighters. And it feels good. But, uh, guys, I do recommend this game. It's, it's it's cheap. It's a cheap little game. I think it's like 10 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, thumbs up on this one. I like it a lot. So, um, actually, the games I feel I like a lot and, like, thumbs up are games that I feel I want, I'm invested in, like, to play. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video or if you find it informative in any way, please, put, please hit that like button. Just fucking roundhouse the shit out of it. <laughs> Subscribe, put a comment below or any questions about the game below, and as always, raise your glasses, cheers, and game on. I'm Rick Grimes, and I'm gonna find Coral. Coral! Coral! <laughs>